California Governor Newsom's recent closures have sparked immense backlash and raised questions about rights of access to public spaces. Here's One America's John Hines. What's the situation here from a legal perspective as uh, you see it? Here I see problematic. The general thrust of the governor's order has been, in the past I thought that there was a social distancing violation and therefore I'm shutting down because it's almost like uh, finding you uh, guilty because he thinks in the future you can't or will not comply with social distancing rules that is the preventive against the COVID-19 contagion. And that is problematic. It's traditional in the law that you cannot take so-called preemptive action of what you think will be a crime or is something that could be a civil violation. I can use it to describe for the audience how it applies with regard to media like OAN, CNN, newspapers. There's a doctrine against prior restraint. You cannot get an order from a governor or from a court telling a newspaper or a broadcaster you can't publish anything because we think you're going to publish something defamatory, may incite crime because you did it in the past. Those are remedies that come after the fact. If Mr. Newsom believes that there is going to be a violation, he has to have more than just, well, it happened in the past, it's going to happen again. Who does he know is going to visit the beaches? Are they the same? Are they different people? Moreover, it's a little bit odd, too. If you try to examine the necessity of the order to compare what other governors are doing when they also have ownership of property that is on the Pacific or Atlantic Ocean. Those governors don't see a need to have these blanket shuts down. You would ask, then why is California unique? You know, the susceptibility to the contagion of COVID-19 is the same everywhere. And it would suggest an overreaching, if you will, an attempt to exert uh, government power for whatever reasons beyond what is reasonable when under our system of government, you know, liberty and choice is the rule. Uh, and government coercion or shutdowns, if you will, are the exception. So if I were a surfer, a surfing man, owned a surfboard, and I wanted to use it this weekend because the waves are going to be great, and I decided to go out to Newport Beach, which is in the middle of Orange County on the coast, and take my surfboard out, would I be within my rights to uh, exercise that uh, ability to go out and use my surfboard in uh, Newport Beach in Orange County this weekend. If you were not, uh, I mean, especially if you tested you know, without, you tested negative for COVID-19, you're not violating any social distancing rules, certainly on the surfboard you're not. And I would also think, John, that in that circumstance, if he was charged with a violation, no jury or judge, no prosecutor would even bring the case. It's so ridiculous on its face. Didn't cause harm to anybody needed exercise is getting out there. You're using your scarce resources when we have very serious crimes out there. Uh, some of them have escalated with regard to small businesses, aren't as guarded as they were when they were locked up. Forget it. There, I do believe that person uh, would be protected in their right to surf. Would I, if I wanted to go sit on the beach and uh, bathe myself in uh, suntan oil in Newport Beach or Huntington Beach in the middle of Orange County, would I? be on a, on a fairly solid basis. I think you would be on a very solid basis. I mean, I, I'm talking not only under the First Amendment, you're not causing harm to anybody, and it's not, it's not like they have a, an emergency, they have to have a whole evacuation order because a whole area is, is, is dangerous. Uh, but as a practical matter, uh, no one's going to come in and try to prosecute you. And if anything, you would probably end up uh, being a hero, and people would donate money <laughs> to your defense, you would become rich. <laughs> Bruce Fine, thank you very much for talking to us at One American News. It's good to catch up with you. Thank you. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.